everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is another Valentine's um, project. And this one here is this very cute little box, which looks pretty normal, standard two by two by two box from the outside. However, when you open this one up at the front, it's got a really nice little open and close here. And inside it's got a jigsaw puzzle and some Hershey Kisses for that person to eat whilst they're doing the jigsaw. So I'm not going to piece this all together whilst um, I'm doing this one, but this is a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day in black and white. It all works, it all fits together perfectly. I've done it myself and I just thought it's just a really cool, quirky, fun little Valentine's treat. This would also work well for all kinds of things. I can imagine this on a like a hen party dinner and you could have some really funny pictures um, of the hen or just of you know pictures with your friends um, wedding favors there's just so many great ideas with this I think it's such a lovely little thing and it's a cute little box because it's not a massive jigsaw um, it's 20 pieces so again it's not too you know it's just a bit of fun and I just thought the Hershey Kisses were a nice touch to that so I'm going to show you how to make all of this so let me just pop all of these back inside this little box and it's a nice little keepsake size I mean um, my husband keeps little bits and pieces in his bedside drawer so no doubt this will end up going in there once he's eaten the chocolates so pop all those in there and then it just closes down and just seals up and then what I've done here is this is a wood veneer which I've heat embossed with black heat embossing um, powder and it just gives it a really nice look there and it's all nice and raised nice little 3d look there so quite simple in decoration so to make this one you're going to need this die here now this die was given to me by a lovely lady called Anne she gave it to me way back last year and I've been waiting to do this project I've had this in mind for a while to do it as a valentine project you could also die cut this, pop it in an envelope, and you could have sentiments like, um, you're my, um, we fit together perfectly, or um, you're the final piece. You know, there's loads of really fun pun quotes that would work well with the jigsaw. Um, and again, I'll try and find those and share the links. So I don't know where this one is from, but I will find out. And again, I will share as many links as I can for you. But this is a 20 piece jigsaw die. So you will need one of those. Um, then I've got, I'm going to do the box first and then I'll show you the picture and, and, and all the die cutting. Okay, so I've done that. the card size so you're going to need is eight and a half by six and a half. And really straightforward scoring. You're going to score at two, four, six, and eight. Okay, that's along the eight and a half inch side. Then rotate and you're then going to score at two four and six so you should be left with a half an inch tab on the long side and on the short side there okay get rid of your scoreboard keep your stylus and just grab a ruler and what you're going to do I've already stuck these pieces on which I'll talk to you through in a minute I just got ahead with some of the um, prep for this video so you want to have the tab from the shortest side on your right hand side and then the tab on the longest side up the top. Okay, now the first square, the top left hand square here, you want to mark with a cross from corner to corner. If I just bring that up into the light there, can you see I've got this cross that I've just scored? Okay, so which you get your ruler and your stylus, pop it in the one of the corners there and just score up, and then again the other corner down to the bottom and score. So you're just creating a cross. Then leave this one empty and then you want to do that cross again in the third one. So you do the first one, leave one, next one, leave one. Okay, that's all the other scoring you need to do. So again, let me just hold that up so you can see there what I've done. Okay, so I've got two crosses scored. Uh, then I've stuck my decoration down. So um, these are all the sides. These measure one and three quarters, I believe, square. Yep, one and three quarters square. Then this one's the lid that's going to fold down. So remember, you want that facing this way, and all of those are facing up. You can put it on when you put it together. I've just decided to do it this way. Right, then you want to burnish all of your score lines. So just go through and fold 
all of those score lines, okay, like so. And then we just need to do a bit of cutting. So first of all, along the bottom here, so you've got those two that you've just scored, you've got four plain squares along the bottom. Cut off that end tab. Okay, so I've just removed that and just cut it on a little angle there. And then just cut up each of these and just, you don't have to, but just try and remove any of that lumpy score line that you've scored in it. It just means, as I always say, you get a nice finish with your box. So you can see that I'm just taking a very small slither off each time, just removing that score line. Okay, so that's the base there, so you can see how much I've cut out. Then back onto the side here, and we're going to cut this whole one out, like so. Actually, you need to remove all of that one, yeah. And then you're going to cut along here really neatly because this is the front, okay. And then you want to cut down again very neatly like so okay then cut along this one and cut that one out and just cut it very slightly there on the angle just to create a little like tab and cut that one out as well very neatly oh, and you need to cut this out sorry I'm I'm not concentrating very well then so that's what you have Okay, the four on the bottom, little tab here, these two that you've done your cross in. What you can then do is actually cut, so this line here is just to cut along. You want to cut all the way up to that one. And again, like so. So let me just hold that down. So that is the shape that you want. Okay, so the four. Four in the middle, tab, these two triangles, this little one. Okay, so that's what you want. Then with these ones here, just flip it over, fold that in half and just lift it up. Put your finger on one on that like one triangle, lift it up and it will form this little right angle. And then you can just grab your bone tool and just burnish that, okay? And do the same on the other one. So fold it in half, put your finger down on that one and bring it up. And again, just burnish that. And now you will see when that all comes around like so, that is going to fold down to be the top of the box. Okay, so now we can put some tape on here. So I'm just using some red tape just because I'm using white card. Um, when you use tacky glue, um, even with the, um, the glue erasers and stuff, you, you sometimes you're still prone to getting dirty marks on it and stuff. So... I'm just trying where possible. I'll use it for the bottom to stick that down, but I'm just going to use my red tape for this piece. Okay, and then just remove that, fold that tab over, bring this side round, and just fold it in half, and you should get a nice join, like so. Okay, so you can already see now that'll come down, and that will go in like so. Forms your box. It will stay down once we do the bottom. So that's the front. So you want to stick this one down last. So I'm going to pop one of my sides in, just grab my glue here, again just focusing on the edges. Stick the opposite one down, like so, and then again. And then stick that back one down and then this front one will go down last it just gives you a nice finish visually makes it look nicer from the front okay so again fold that one down turn it upside down and then you can grab a ruler pop it inside and just spread all that glue out and make sure it's all nicely stuck down okay so that's all stuck down and then you can just slide your lid in and you've got your box there Okay, so that's all done. Then you've got the little veneer to go on the top. So these are all the wood veneers that I've got. Now the love that I've used, I actually used the last one and didn't realise, so I've die cut these ones here. These are the little dies that I've used. Um, and I die cut each one four times. I'm not sure which one I was going to use. So four times, layered them up to create these hard little um, 
decorative sentiments and then what I'm going to do is just show you how I do it but just grab some scrap cards sorry the sun's just coming in now so I'll quickly do this I might have to just move a little bit there a minute so you literally just versamark the front so I'm just putting the whole of my pad over the top of that like so and just flip that over pop that there then I've got my um, black embossing powder so this is just paper mania and then I'm just going to sprinkle it over I just find it easy to do it this way like so then I've got a pair of tweezers just going to lift it up and I'm going to pinch the side of it rather than the front like so shake off any excess oh don't worry if you catch it because I'm actually going to be doing it twice so there we go Okay, and then I've got my heat tool here. Just get it nice and hot. Okay, so I don't know if you can pick up there, but look how shiny that's gone. But see, it's a little bit mottled. It's got it's got not hasn't got a smooth edge yet. So let that just set. Give it a few a couple of minutes just to set, and then do it again. And I've done it actually three times, and then it gives you that beautiful smooth effect so it's really really nice so I'm just going to carry on and do that a few okay, more times. Okay so I've done both of those and I've like I said put the embossing powder on three times you can see now you get a really lovely shiny finish so that's going to go and decorate either there on the top or on this oh no probably not on the side probably put it on the top there you can see it more in real life rather than, but you can see how it's going to look nice. Or I may go for that one across the top there, I'm not too sure yet. Anyway, that's those bits done. So then on to the actual jigsaw itself. So I made one mistake when I'd done this at the beginning. And basically, so what I've done, or what you need to do, is die cut three die cut the jigsaw three times on some separate card because you want to layer it up to make it nice and thick now you, you if you want you can just keep it as one layer but it just becomes quite flimsy so unless you're using a very thick card that this will cut through you might have to add a few shims on your machine and you're happy just play around if you're happy that the jigsaw sits together quite well but I just find if you die cut this just on one piece it just it doesn't stick together it doesn't click in properly like a jigsaw does so if you layer it up and I find three times on card and then the picture itself so it's almost four layers that gives you if I show you one of the, um, the jigsaw pieces you see here you see how thick that is and you can hear they're like proper you know proper thick cardboard jigsaw pieces now so they, they click into each other really nicely so have a play around see what card you're going to use and then you can obviously work out how many you want to do now the other thing also is although um, basically once you start cutting it out there's a lot of the, the pieces are the same size um, when you find a duplicate so like the two corners there they're the same but they're just mirrored um, same with the top ones and then this one here is the same as that one there so there's a lot of same pieces however <laughs> they are slightly different I guess because what I done is I die cut it and then just picked it all off they were all messed up and then when I was putting it back together again it just didn't seem right so what I would say is is die cut one of them so I'll pop this one through first and then you want to make sure that you keep it in that um, sequence. So when you take it off your um, thing here, so you can see now, so mine is all on the mat still. So when I take this off, I want to make sure that I keep it exactly in the same way and the same direction. So I need to remember that this is, you might want to put a little marker on the top so that you know that each time you're, you're die cutting. So I know that that is that way. So now when I die cut the next one, I'll keep it up that way. The next one have them all lined out. And then when I do the photo, which I will do, let me just take this off here quickly. You just wanna make sure that you've got it all in order. So you need to be a bit organized with this um, because you don't wanna cut them all out and then find that uh, you can't put it back together again. 
So let's just make sure they're all in order there. Okay, so I'm actually just putting a little black mark there on the top of this, so I know that that is the top. So I would die cut that one again, lay it out, and then die cut that one again and lay it out. And then the photo, I'm gonna pop in there. I'm not gonna show you the photo too much because it's of my sister and her husband, so I don't want to expose them if they don't wanna be on my YouTube. Although my sister doesn't mind. Okay, so I'm just making sure I get a nice cover of the photo there. Oh, my sister's dress, I don't wanna cut off Ollie's head. There we go. So again, the top, so I know how what pieces will obviously match with this when it's all done. So I think that's okay. Sit that on top and run that through. Okay, so let's just take these off. So I know that that is this top part here is this end here. So again, I can lay it all out. But if I just remove that now, you'll see. Got a lovely jigsaw. So if I can just turn that over, this one I think comes off, yeah, pretty much whole. And then I just used tacky glue and stuck them all together. So I, this is the most time consuming bit, but it obviously depends on stuck to my board. It depends on how many oh, layers you want to actually do um, for your photo, for your puzzle even. So I'm going to take the rest of this off. I definitely need a new board. Okay, like so. So then I now know that that was cut with this. I need to make that black mark better. I'll put a little sticker on there. Is this end here? So I know that that's this this layer here is this side here. So then what you do is just grab one of your pieces, stick it on top of there, stick it on top of the next one, stick it on top of the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these two first so I don't get confused. Then I'll die cut another base put that one on and die cut another base and put that one on. Um, it's just a bit easier that way. So I will be back when they're all done. Okay, so there you go. I've stuck all them. So I've die cut it four times and then stuck them, including the picture, all on top of each other. And now you can hear they're really, really strong and you can start putting them together. So you can see there you get a really nice little game. <laughs> so again this would be great for kids party favours as well. Um, little party bag sorry. Imagine the kids having them with maybe a Polaroid picture of the party or I don't know I'm just throwing out ideas there but I'm not going to do it all but there is the puzzle starting to come together. So I'm going to jumble that all up now and the box you can see there I've just finished it off with that little um, wood veneer which I heat embossed on top, so I just need to open up my box. I've got my Hershey Kisses, because I just thought they're very apt for this project. And there you have it, some really, really nice little Valentine's gifts. So you can have them on your dinner table if you're gonna do a nice meal, um, or like I said, it doesn't have to be for Valentine's, but there you have it, there's two really cute little boxes. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from me today. Please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.